Before we get into different development models, let us understand the product and project lifecycle. The product lifecycle looks like this. It typically involves introduction of the product, growth, maturity, and finally decline phases. Introduction phase is where the product is developed and launched into the market. This phase requires lots of investment without any returns, and hence you can see that there are no profits during this phase. After the product has been successfully launched and promoted in the market, it enters the growth phase. This is the phase where product is in use and has new customers adding in, which brings in profits to the company. As the product reaches the next phase of maturity, it brings in good profits. Indeed, profits are the highest in this phase. Each product, no matter how successful, has to eventually decline and move out of the market. In this phase, profits drop gradually as customers would move to more advanced products, which can be by a competitor or sometimes by the same vendor itself. For example, Office 2003 and Office 2007 are the products of the same company, Microsoft. Introduction of more advanced feature will outdate the earlier one for so many obvious reasons and hence product decline phase is inevitable. This entire life cycle can span anywhere between a couple of weeks to a couple of years depending on the nature of the product and the need of the product in the market. The entire product life cycle will involve a series of projects to plan, develop, launch, enhance and maintain the product. The management focus should always be to keep the introduction and growth phase the shortest in order to maximize the amount of time the product stays in the maturity phase. Let us look at what PLM. PLM is an acronym for Product Lifecycle Management and is the process of managing the entire life cycle of a product from requirements through design and manufacture to service and disposal. PLM describes the engineering aspect of a product from managing descriptions and properties of a product through its development and useful life. PLM speeds up the product development process by systematically arranged product requirements and product data management. This also reduces the engineering costs.